Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. As you can see, we are in my kitchen. I have something so exciting for you guys today. I am doing something I have not done in a long time on this channel, and that is a meal prep video. <laughs> In today's video, I will be doing a three-day meal prep, showing you guys what I'll be eating for the next three days. Now, I don't know if it's all the compliments that I'm getting from friends and family about how much I'm shrinking and how good I'm looking, or if it's just the kick that I'm on and the motivational high that I'm on, but I am so determined to be on track that I'm actually meal prepping again. Now, before we get into anything, if this is your first time coming across my channel, what's up? I'm your girl, Brooklyn. Stick around, join the family, subscribe, become a Brooklyn Knight. You already know we get it popping over here. Make sure you press the notification bell. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. This channel mainly focuses on my fight with obesity and losing weight and overcoming unhealthy eating habits, as well as me navigating through life via my shenanigans. <laughs> So stick around if you like what you see. I share tons of recipes, tips, tricks, and overall just my testimony. So if you like what you see, make sure you stick around. As for my Brooklynites, thank you for joining me here on another video. So like I said, I will be meal prepping this video. And you're not going to see my camera much. I'm going to just be in the groove of things cooking. I do want to mention before I even get started, yesterday, before I even knew I was going to meal prep today, Yesterday, I attempted to make a dessert, which was a banana nut bread cream cheese. Well, what did, what did I call it? Banana nut bread cheesecake? I think that's what I called it. I attempted to make that yesterday. So that will be the only item in this video that you're not going to see me actually make, because that was like a trial of everything. And the recipe, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit off because I'm a texture girl and the texture is just not up to my standards. So you definitely won't see me make that, but you will see me prep it as one of my snacks for this week. As far as the meals that I have planned, everything is going to be on the lower fat side. Of course, it's going to be low carb and you actually can make it keto. Right now, I'm not doing keto. I am doing low carb, low fat. So, um, everything is like on the lower fat side and of course, it's low carb. You guys can follow along with me. I'll be sure to fill the description box with measurements and you can just follow along with the video if you want. But yeah, that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to say, so let's just jump right into the video. Picnic with Starting out with breakfast, I'm just going to prepare my egg muffins. And for my egg muffins, it's super simple. You guys have seen this all over social media. I've even made a detailed recipe before on my channel. And so the only thing that I'm doing this time around is just switching up the flavors I like to add in. I'm using fat-free cheese. I'm using some honey turkey and um, one chicken sausage, as well as onions, peppers, jalapenos, scallion, garlic, the whole shebang. I'll leave measurements down below of what I used and how much I used, but um, I kept it fairly simple. And for this, I used about eight eggs and I used some fat-free cream cheese as well as some fat-free or half the fat laughing cow cheese and some fat-free half and half. And then I just went in and seasoned everything to my liking. I show you guys the seasonings that I use, but I did not measure them. So I can't give measurements for the seasonings as for me seasonings don't have carbs or calories or anything like that so I don't really measure that out but everything else was weighed on my scale because I need accurate readings so that I can get accurate macros because I track calories And um, I'm just using non-stick um, spray, or this is avocado spray, I believe. Yeah, this avocado, you know, avocado oil spray. Again, we want the fat content zero, okay? When I say low fat, I mean it. So you would see the theme for this is that I'm using fat-free cheese or low fat or low fat cheeses and for where you would need like oil or butter or anything like that I use cooking spray and yeah again everything is measured out that's a one-fourth of a cup measurement measuring cup and uh, yeah that's what I use for the muffin sizes and I just fill them to my liking um, I do want to say I only had six because again this is a three-day meal prep 
three for me. I mean, <laughs> six for me, six for my niece. My niece was the one that had the Italian sausage in hers. I had chicken sausage and turkey. And I just wanted to say when it comes to these type of egg muffin recipes, fillings should be your liking like what do you like in your eggs what do you like in your omelets things like that so you want to think about your taste buds and what you would like you definitely can make different flavors you don't have to eat the same two or three flavors um for your meal prep so definitely play with it and you know i would do some bacon some um i would even do like a salmon and shrimp version which i've done before which is really good like play with the flavors i'm keeping everything low fat so you know for me chicken sausage and um just turkey will do. So I'm just going to put these into the oven to bake. I'm not going to let them cook all the way through because this is a meal prep and um, you want to undercook your food so that when you heat it up, it cooks perfectly and it is not tough and rubbery. When it comes out, it should look something like this. Like I said, mine are not cooked all the way through. They are undercooked about five minutes or so. So the center still has liquid. So when I, whenever I go into the microwave to heat them up, it will cook all the way through and it will be fresh again. But after I let it cool down, I packed my serving up and then my niece took her servings. So I have six egg muffins here. That's two per day, three days. Do the math, simple math equation. <laughs> I didn't make no time for falling. It was never in my plan. Examination, recall, rehaul. That's just who I am. Are you checking on me? Checking on me. Are you check secured? Check secured. I'm going to get started on separating my cake that I made yesterday. Like I said, you did not see me make this cake. This is my banana nut bread cheesecake. There's cheesecake filling in the center. Like I said, it is a trial and error recipe. The next time around, I feel like I will have it perfected. Now, it definitely tastes amazing. It has the exact taste profile I was going for, but for me, the texture was a little bit off. Was a little bit off. Um, the texture was a little too wet for me. I am a texture girl, and anything a little wet or mushy, I can't do. So I found myself peeling off a lot of the quote unquote banana nut bread, but I know what I'm going for. And the next time around, I know exactly what to do so that I can get the exact texture I'm going for. This makes 12 slices and I literally just cut it in half, six for me and uh, six for my family upstairs, which is really my mom and my niece who enjoyed it. They loved it so much to the point where my niece actually wound up coming to get more from me. So yeah, I sliced off about three, wrapped them up in some random wrap, and uh, I needed something to eat while I'm meal prepping, so I sliced me a slice and had some coffee. <laughs> I'm 
Right now I'm getting started on my lunch and this is just a simple stuffed chicken recipe. I've done many stuffed chicken recipes on my channel so you can definitely look through my channel to get some inspiration. I've done stuffed seafood but for this I'm again everything has to be low fat so I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil spray to spray my chicken breast. As you guys can see this is skinless boneless chicken breast. No skin because, you know, again, low fat. <laughs> um, I'm going in with my seasonings of choice. Like I said, I did not measure my seasoning amounts. I just went with what I feel, honey, okay? I went with what I feel, but I'm showing you what I used. <laughs> so, you know, you guys can go ahead. This, I believe this was uh, 10 pieces of chicken breast. Uh, but uh, we sliced them to make them thinner. So that's how I came up to 10 chicken breasts. I kept three for myself and then the rest went upstairs to my family. Like I said, three day meal prep. And I feel like doing the stuffed chicken breast is something that I can mix and match flavors with and stuff like that. I simply paired it with a side of steamed veggies. Now, whenever I have this stuffed chicken breast meal or a variation of it, um, I like to keep it simple with the sides because it the chicken breast itself has so much flavor that I do not want to compromise on my taste buds with eating other sides that has just as much flavor. I want to enjoy my chicken breast, so I keep the sides fairly simple. I literally just made some steamed veggies, as you will see. I do want to apologize if I sound heavily congested and even more nasally than normal and <laughs> a little bit winded because I could barely breathe. I am getting over a sinus infection, you guys. Sinuses had me down. Okay, this video was supposed to have been up, but I'm just now being like being able to freaking talk, okay? So I do apologize if I sound extra annoying, extra nasally. I'm sorry, but I still love you guys anyway. Now we're moving on to the stuffing part and I used uh, half the fat cream cheese and I used light mayo and um, also two of the half the fat laughing cow wedge and then just bell peppers onions garlic spinach you know you gotta add that spinach in there here to do a crust on my chicken I'm using phlox chicken strips um, these are really good phlox sent me a box of chicken strips to try and I have been loving it I decided that I'm gonna use the Hattie's be hot flavor and then the original flavor and just mix it up and just make my own um, crust or filling or like panko breading if you will so yeah they're literally just chicken skins that's fried up now this does have a lot of fat if you are keto it's perfect for you but because I want to keep my fat content down, I did not use as much. So these bags that I crushed up went on all 10 pieces of chicken. So that cut the fat down, thankfully. But look at this. Doesn't that look good? And it's very flavorful. So flavorful and so good. It makes a really good crust. I just put it in my hand chopper like so and then crushed it into bits like so. And yeah, that's what I did. Flox chicken strips. Now you can use pork skins, you can use chicken skins, whatever. I made mine in batches because I was doing it in the air fryer. Listen, it's much faster and much more convenient than putting the damn oven on and doing this. And I find that the stuffed chicken come out better. So I have these like little aluminum cake rounds or pie rounds. I just put in my air fryer. So because I had three pieces of chicken to put in my personal air fryer, I had to do it twice. But it came, it worked out good. So that's what you see here. And yes, my house have three air fryers because when we cooking for the family, we got to have all three running, okay? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but and, and then they're the big air fryers with like, that's like six, seven quarts. It's not like the little ones. No, we have the big ones. We have three of them, okay?
me that does not look good. Look at my chicken. <laughs> you guys, it was so good. You do not taste the difference that I used half the fat cream cheese, that I used light mayo, that like that I used fat free cheeses. You don't taste the difference. It tastes like my original one. So good, but just less fat. Okay. Mm, so good. And it's still low carb. Period. These are my veggies that I prepped. I just steamed some asparagus and broccoli. I did not really season it that much. I just tossed a little bit of um, seasoning on them, but not that much because like I said, the chicken is so flavorful. And what you see me doing here, like I said, I have a kitchen scale and I am an advocate for having a kitchen scale because if you're counting calories and you're counting your macros, you need to be on target. I know I see a lot of people just eyeballing things, weighing things. Let me tell you something. If you are not weighing your food, if you are not literally weighing your food and measuring everything out, you, you don't know how easy it is to go over your macros every single day. So I'm taking my veggies out and I'm weighing everything because I, I need to stay within my macros. So that's what you see me doing here. Now you might notice I don't put my food together. Um, if, if you guys are watchers of my channel and you guys know me, I do not stack my food together. I don't prep like that because your food tastes bad faster in my opinion if you keep everything separate everything separated everything separate your food stays much fresher much longer don't believe me just try it i promise you i promise you if you keep all your food separated your food will be fresher much longer and then the thing is you can mix and match like let's say you don't want to eat that exact combination that day you can mix and match like hello hello come on For dinner, we're going Asian base. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a stir fry and we're gonna do some cauliflower, cauliflower fried rice. Baby, when I tell you this was so good, I got the um, inspiration for this dish off of TikTok because I seen this girl make the same exact dish, but she didn't have shrimp in hers. It was like just sausage and zucchini and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, Brooklyn had to do it and put her stamp on it. Come on now. Like, Please don't act like you know I'm not gonna do something and put my stamp on it. So I went with the sausage, of course. We did some kielbasa. Now you see it's a little lighter and stuff like that. We, I did kielbasa um, chicken sausage because again, less fat. But here are my veggies. Um, zucchini, onions, bell peppers. Okay, two different type of bell peppers. What are you talking about? And <laughs> let me stop being a Brooklyn bird. <laughs> um, so that's basically it. I just sauteed it. As you can see, I use non-stick um, spray and a, a non-stick pan. I'm lightly seasoning it with some complete seasoning and some adobo, a little black pepper. But the main um, seasoning components is going to come from like my keto teriyaki sauce that I made, which is I just made like a low carb and keto teriyaki sauce base. L look at all of that. I didn't even see during cooking, during filming that I was dropping it on the stove. And why am I being so stubborn and using a small pan when it's like six servings here? <laughs> but you know, I, I'm so like making everything simple and, and easy, one pan. So here's some shrimp. I have some white tiger shrimp that's going into this. And I seasoned it with the teriyaki that I made. And again, I'll leave uh, measurements amounts down below and you can just put it together and just follow along with the video. <laughs> You know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I did. I made a little teriyaki. Boom, boom, boom. I don't want too much of the teriyaki um, sauce because even though, yeah, it's low carb approved, it does like too much of it still adds like sneaky carbs in. So I don't want that. And I kept it very controlled and very measured because I need my macros to be on point. Honey. Okay.
yeah that's pretty much it and this is six servings right here i went and i measured everything out and yeah i split it three for me three for my niece who's also eating what i'm eating and yeah the last thing i'm doing is making my cauliflower rice now i know you're like girl is that peas and carrots i see what wanna put peas and carrots on keto no that's not keto this is low carb but i used half a cup of peas and carrots only to add a little bit more dimension and texture to the dish to make it more authentic like as if you're eating rice and that half a cup had what um about five carbs i believe but yo check this out half a cup divided by six you get what i'm saying like it's not enough to do any damage so that's all i did was that a half a cup or one cup listen i wrote everything down i got you i got you so anyway two bags of cauliflower rice in a pan i didn't as you see again non-stick oil because the girl the kid don't want that much fat in her food these days no 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 and the trick and the secret to the perfect cauliflower rice fried rice is to let your rice dry out baby no liquid so all i'm doing here is adding some spring onion some scallion them and some red onion and then i'm just gonna let it dry out you see how it starts to brown like so and it's dried to the pan look 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 that's what you want honey okay that is the trick to the perfect perfect pro flavor profile texture everything is so good i'm going in with the teriyaki um sauce that i made again you know authentic flavor because that sauce has um sesame oil in it it has fish oil um low sodium um soy sauce it has everything that you need to give you that asian flavor profile that you're looking for now um one thing i come to realize i don't like too much egg in my cauliflower rice but i need egg so i only cracked one egg in there and i know it's like one egg for like six servings yeah the one egg did it it add the creaminess that i needed that texture that i needed um for it to like have like oh this is good this kind of tastes like fried rice and like man listen i know what i'm doing in the kitchen don't question me like go ahead and question your mother don't question me should have taught you how to cook don't come on my channel looking to learn how to cook and then question me now let me stop i'm really just joking some of y'all probably gonna take it too serious i'm joking relax laugh okay laugh because i will turn into will now let me stop <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny anyway <laughs> you can't tell me that this rice don't look fire come on now look at my rice it looks so good it look goody goody mm, 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 mm. i could eat that all over again so good i'm not even gonna hold you don't it look authentic tell me that don't look like fried rice that you buy girl stop playing on my face anyway these are my meal prep containers that i have i got I don't know where I got this from. I think it was sent to me. I don't know. But anyway, it measures out to exactly one cup. That is exactly one cup. And, and one serving of this is literally one cup. So all I'm going to do is fill up three of them with one cup serving of the fried rice. And then my niece is going to fill up her of the three. This is my entire meal prep. As you can see, everything is not here because I don't have the counter space to put everything here, but you can get an idea. There go the chicken, the veggies, the stir fry, the eggs, my three servings of my cheesecake, banana nut cheesecake, individually wrapped. I also have three of my low carb, no sugar um, Oikos yogurts. I have three of my chicken flox chips if i wanted them which i only ate two in that week to be honest with you because i couldn't afford all of that in my macros anyway and then um like i said oh i had my blueberries out because i actually put a little bit of blueberries in my yogurt and i do a little peanut butter and i do a little you know how i eat my yogurt or my little keto granola so i wanted to show you guys that look look at my three days this is what i ate for the next three days i mixed and matched i didn't even oh like i literally mixed and matched the recipes some days i just ate the stir fry but yeah that's my meal prep I'm all, tired. Okay, I'm all, all right that's everything i meal prepped i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up all right
right, thumb your girl up. Let me know that you want more meal prep videos. Like I said, three days, that's all I do. Like, I don't do more than three days. And if you want to cook for an entire week, that's your prerogative. But this girl right here, uh-uh, she don't do that anymore. <laughs> Them foods was going to waste, baby. <laughs> I get bored and I like things fresh. Okay, I like it super fresh, so... Every three days, swap it out, swap it out. You're in the kitchen twice a week, baby. That's all you need, baby. I really hope this video was informative, and I hope you took something from it. I hope it helps you in the kitchen. Stay on track on your journey and your fitness goals, your lifestyle. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, let me know if you want more videos like this. Follow me on my social media networks. Names and links are somewhere down below. Make sure you thumbs up. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>